When the sun set, the forest was filled with blackness. Not with the color black, but with the mystery, the invitation of black. Blackness, as in a black coat, as in black hair, as in a touching you didn't know existed. Although Vika has gone, I hear her voice. This happens often. King, shut your mouth. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the color black, I say. And about sex. Dear John, I seem to have been trying to write this letter for months. Either work or tiredness or both have gotten the way. I want it to be a book about light, using the color yellow, making the journey from darkness to light, from the cave to the open air. André Breton suggested moving from the substance to the shadow. Well, this will be a journey in the other direction, from shadow to substance, even if the substance in this case happens to be something as intangible as light. Blue is sad, blue is memory, blue is nostalgia, but blue is also effrontery and impudence, and this is what I love about the color. The most expensive of colors, blue is prize. No public one, intimate prize. Blue says outrageously and absurdly, I am yours, or you are mine, and no other color can judge us. I send you this, cadmium red. I wonder if these strong memory sensations are what Paul Valéry meant by the stains of the pure instant. It made me smile to see a remark by the artist Frank Stella. Thinking about color abstractly hasn't done me any real good. I look forward to hearing from you. March 1st, 1997. Red is not usually innocent, but the red you sent me is. It's the red of childhood, a uh, pretend red, or the red of young eyelids shut tight, the red you saw when you did that. As I look at it, I wonder what will happen when it grows older. Maybe it won't be red anymore. My guess is that maybe it will become black. Whereas this red I send you, this far from innocent red, was when it was young, white, white with a touch of green like apple blossom when it unfolds. Now it's the heaviest red in the world. No bird could fly near it. Give my special love at this moment to Genevieve. <laughs> 